Russia's war in Ukraine may seem like a world away, but for some in Acadiana, it's hitting very close to home. And later this week, some who have been displaced by the war will literally take center stage in Lafayette. Trey Francis has the story. This week's Lafayette Hyman Performing Arts Center features the Ukrainian flag to welcome dancers from the Kyiv City Ballet who are set to take the stage Sunday night. Among those who will be in the audience, Jared and Rochelle Doiz, who adopted their son from Ukraine. He was eight months when we took him home, so he knows he's from the Ukraine. We try to, you know, expose him to the culture of his, of his homeland as much as possible, so he was aware. And we were actually very surprised at the strong reaction that uh, we received from him. He was very upset, very upset about the war. Their adoption liaison was killed in the war. He was shot by a sniper. He was just checking on things outside of his building. And um, so now his wife's a widow and his children are fatherless. So it's very, very heartbreaking. Also planning to attend Nadia Kozinets. She was born in Russia, but has lived in Ukraine. She's been watching the events unfold from Lafayette, which she now calls home. My house was next to this bridge, for example, and I see that in New York Times or in Atlantic on first page. I never, it's unimaginable, you know. Their stories show a connection to events, seemingly a world away, and being brought to Lafayette this week with the ballet's performance. Ukraine is not the only place in the world that that's happening. So this is a reflection of many parts of our world today. Live performing arts is a way to keep hard discussions going. For the ballet, the show must go on. Dancers say to show resilience and strength on the behalf of Ukraine. The two sides are going to have to sit down and negotiate out the end of this you know both are going to have to make some concessions it's it's never going to be like it was before in lafayette trey francis ktc tv3 and the Kiev city ballet takes the stage at the hyman performing arts center at 7 30 this coming sunday tickets are still available either through pasa or ticketmaster